All right, this is Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 3, and we're going to be learning all about perpendicular lines. And basically, a, perpendicular, a pair of perpendicular lines are two lines that, when they intersect, boom, they intersect and form 90, a 90-degree 90 angle. And in this case, they're forming four 90 degree angles. So boom, 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 and boom. So they formed four 90 degree angles, but you don't have to have lines that, or in this case, they're line segments, aren't they? So I can make them lines now. So there's lines. Um, you don't have to have lines or line segments that create four 90 degree angles, like right here. You could just have um, a pair of lines, boom, like that. That makes just a single 90 degree angle, and there that makes them perpendicular. So perpendicular are two lines that form one or more 90 degree angles. In this case it forms one, and in this case it forms more. Now the way you identify, there's shorthand because you know a lot of a lot of people say that math is kind of like learning a language. And uh, so the way we write down, let's say I want to identify these two line, uh, line segments, and I'll call this A, B, and C. All right, so we've got two lines, uh, line segments. Boy, I keep calling them lines. Uh, we've got two line segments. We've got A, B, and we've got B, C. In this case, I'm talking about this one over here. And when we want to use a symbol to identify that these two line segments are perpendicular to each other, we use an upside-down T. It looks like an upside-down T. It's also supposed to look like two lines that are perpendicular. And you always do it like this. You, um, Even though this looks like an L, you're not going to draw an L up here. This is always the symbol. So, for example, this one over here, let's call this, oh, let's call this uh, D, E, F, and G. Now, in this case, we've got lines, not line segments. So, in this case, we've got line, and I'll write it way up here, line D, E. So, I'm going to draw that with the arrows, and then I've got line FG, so I'm going to put FG, and then I'm going to draw the thing with the arrows up at the top. And now to show that these two lines are perpendicular, meaning they form 90 degree angles, I'm going to draw that perpendicular symbol. It's that upside down T. So that's what perpendicular line is. One, uh, two lines, or line segments, that form one or more 90 degree angles and this is the symbol that you use to show that these two things are perpendicular. Now let's do some examples. In this one they're just asking us to identify some examples of perpendicular lines or line segments uh, in real life and uh, so I can, I mean there's a lot of them. I see the T right here. Oops, I, except I don't want to do it in blue, uh, black. I want to do it in blue. So there, um, I can see another perpendicular line right here. I can see another perpendicular line here. So teachers, there's a lot of perpendicular lines. Boy, and I'm making them all look like T's. They don't have to look like T's. How about this? Boom, like that. Boom. All right. Um, the one thing I thought was interesting about this problem, teachers and parents, if we have parents watching, is where do you see a perpendicular line here? Well, you don't really because it's it's kind of it's drawn to perspective. So uh, students may have a little bit of a hard time with this. They're going to have to identify something that is perpendicular in real life, but not perpendicular in the picture itself. So um, give kids some grace and uh, cut them some slack on this one. Here we're just supposed to um, draw complete the uh, the segments so that we have some perpendicular lines so you could do that and or you can do this and you have you know a whole bunch of variety of answers so they don't have to be perfect but let the kids uh, kinda just draw boom there's one and then oh let's be creative here and so there we go 
So on this one, I thought I would show this because this is just really practicing, giving students the opportunity to practice the, the lingo of mathematics, how to write the line segments and how to remember to write that perpendicular um, symbol. So let me get a little bit of a smaller pen here. And so we're, we're given, first we're told that AB, that's this, is perpendicular to BD. And that's BD. So sure enough, there's our angle right there. And we're supposed to identify all of the instances of perpendicular lines. So we have another one right here. And so this is CD, line segment CD, which is perpendicular to BD. So that's the line segment BD. And to show that they're perpendicular, we're going to do that perpendicular symbol, that upside down symbol. And then we're just going to keep going. This, this problem has a bunch of answers. So here's another angle a 90 degree angle, which means we have another pair of perpendicular lines. That's CD and AC. So CD is perpendicular to AC. And then, uh, let's see, do we have one more? Yeah, this last one. <laughs> Curiously enough, it's this angle that they gave um, represents AC being perpendicular to AB. And that's how we're going to look at these problems. It gives students an opportunity to identify a pair of perpendicular lines, usually by first finding the 90-degree angle. Once you've found the 90-degree angle, that tells you, uh, in this case right here, angle D, that tells you that you have a pair of perpendicular lines or line segments, and look for them. So the 90-degree angles are the, are the clue. And our last example for this uh, video is we have a triangle here. We're supposed to identify um, a pair or any perpendicular lines that we see. So what I like to do is I like to look for the 90-degree angles. Well, this is definitely not a 90-degree angle. Neither is this, but this is. So let's mark it. So there's our 90-degree angle, which means we have two lines, or lines in this case line segments, that are perpendicular. So that's going to be GO, that's this guy, which is perpendicular to this guy, which is OD, or DO, it doesn't matter. And then a symbol, um, the perpendicular symbol. Remember, teachers, that these mean line segments, we're not drawing the little arrows because these lines, uh, line segments are not going on forever. So uh, that's how we're going to do that one. And that wraps up Grade 4, Module 4, Lesson 3, learning all about perpendicular lines and how to notate them.